neighbours asleep well now, this fella's not going to be waking up in the morning. And you do always start with the wing and tail feathers and you're plucking boards, but I don't think you're going to be taking his wings. Maybe I will. I don't know. I wasn't planning on taking the wings. I wasn't actually planning on plucking, I was planning on just taking the fillets and the legs. Another thing as well is if you can to starve your, if you're planning harvest animals for me, starve them for 24 hours before you dispatch them. This means there's less mess inside them, like he has a, a full crop, of, so that's all the food he's got to keep him going throughout the night. So ideally you'd prefer if they didn't have any of that contamination in them. Did you notice I haven't bled at you? Ideally you should do that first. His rooster has just had to be recently moulted, so that could be why it's very easy to pluck. Once you have a clay and dry table and you start the evisceration, you can off with the head. Head's gone. Okay, so the wings, I'm cutting off the joint there. You just cut around the joint. Should I say? Again, you'll see the joint, the ball joint. Pop it off if you can manage to get the tendons out. Go for it. Just watch that spore. It's very, very sharp. That's the roosters used to fight with each other. See if you can manage to twist the tendons out. Sometimes not very easy, or you can just cut them. Now, visceration through the cavity. You don't want to puncture, just come through the skin. So no wonder the skin didn't care when I was plucking it, it's very thick. Show the skin there. Very well fed. So you want to try and get all these out in one go. Well, not to be one go, I suppose, but that's not nice. Don't swear it all on me. And then all the junk falls into the bin. Now you will have sharp bones there, so be careful. So you need to get the crop out now in the windpipe. That's 
seems to be everything out of there that's supposed to be out of there. So this chicken needs a good wash. Put off a couple of feathers. That's what we're ready to go. Or him ready to go, should I say. <laughs> 